of the student manager name record. Um, again, uh, add date, update date, who did it, who was the last person, who was a birth mother. That's the data that's tracked automatically. Uh, when you save your work, and again, in terms of the, the toolbar at the bottom, a couple of things, let's just kind of review this. Uh, again, any button on this screen or anything you do on a, on a name record except undo, abandon, or hitting escape will save your edits. The save button, and what that does is saves your work. It writes what you've edited to the database, but the name record that you're on stays up. Um, the save close screen will also save the record, but it closes the record screen you're on. Now, big, big note, you do not have to hit save before you do OK close. It's OK, but it's double work. Uh, there is, you know, when you do save, it, or when you hit OK close, it automatically saves the record. So hopefully, if you're, if you're doing save and then hitting OK, don't do that no more. Just do your OK close. Oh, come on. I can so get me to hit save first and then OK close. No, no, no. No need to do that in, in Student Manager. <clears throat> we got you covered. Undo and abandon. Now, again, same kind of behavior. If you're working in a record and you did something and screwed it up, but you haven't left the record yet, the undo key will allow you to wipe out anything you've added when you opened the record and started to work with it, and the screen will stay there. If you were just looking at a record and accidentally did some changes but didn't want to change anything anyway, then you just hit the abandon key, and it will uh, bail out and, and not save anything you might have accidentally hit as you were navigating around. Fine. And of course, uh, this is another big one I notice people doing is that when they're in a name record and they want to go to another name, they'll do OK close, go up to the menu, do fine. You don't need to do that. When you're done with the record, you can hit a find button, directly go to the next lookup, and guess what? It also saves your record. So again, you don't need to click save and then click Find. Sorry, Lori, that is unnecessary. And we're all about economy of scale. So again, <laughs> finding records uh, to find uh, to locate a name. Now, of course, most of the time, you're probably getting Find from the Find tool on the top. But uh, <clears throat> uh, either one takes you to the same place. So navigating the window, and again, for new people, the idea is that you, people always want to find a field to type it in. They're, the find window is basically dynamic. So the minute you start to type something, it will begin to appear in the blue find box. And as you type, it'll navigate to the first record in the row, you're in the column you're on, that matches up with what you're searching for. If you're trying to find a common uh, last name and they're a unique person, it's last name, comma, space, first name to get last name first. <clears throat> and then you tab to go to the next column. And once you're on the row, once you're on the line that has the record that you want, you either hit enter or double click to open the edit screen. And of course, as always, if you want to exit the window, press Escape. Again, even though there's an Xbox, in the nature of our system, it's escape that lets you abandon the find window. Uh, getting the timing down, you can set the number of seconds that the find window waits for you to enter the next keystroke. The default is 3.5 seconds. And I'm going to jump to live on that so we can say. So if I'm trying to find Havlicek and I do HA, and let's see, was it V or H A L V or M I? Oh, it was V. If I waited longer than three and a half seconds, you'll note that what I type in here goes away. Let's try that again. H. Let me click into the screen. H A, and I'm thinking, think once, think twice. Oh, it's V. Then I type the V. 
because the three and a half second rule is passed, it says, hey, this guy must be wanting to look up a new record. I'm going to go look for the next letter he types. And that is the timing thing. Um, where that is uh, edited by, I'm going to hit escape to get out of here, is under edit, my user profile, is the pick list reset time. <clears throat> and again, that can be from one second to five seconds. Personally, I kind of like that mid-range, three to three and a half. Um, other things about the find record, while well, we're talking about that, again, if you have firm turned on, you're going to see a firm column here. If you say, well, I want um, Anderson and I want Carol rather, or Phil rather than a Adam or Bobby or Sam, so it's Anderson, comma, space, P, and that'll jump me to the name that I'm looking for. <clears throat> if you don't know the name, but you know the company name, Hollywood Productions, H-O-L-L-Y, it brings up a firm search, and you can then see all the people uh, from that particular firm. Uh, other searches are, if I tab across now, you can do it by zip code. Uh, that's kind of nice if you're saying, I wonder how many people we have in zip code 68. Well, the answer is one. So maybe that's not a very popular area for your database. Um, <clears throat> another lookup mode is by day phone number and home phone number. And again, this is useful for checking family members or checking people who might work at the same organization. Uh, we're going over here and we see there are three numbers that are the same here, and by golly, they're all at St. Joseph Health Center. Well, maybe the person registered used his home address, but his day phone is St. Joseph Health Center. Uh, it would begin to give you an idea that you've got people coming from a particular company. Now, this also lets you search. So if I wanted to find the person who's from 537-2937, <clears throat> Uh, I find that that happens to be an ASWR systems number. Uh, so again, a ways to look up a name record. You can do that also with the home phone number, 587, um, and you can search by email address. Now again, you'll note here in the left, I didn't clear long enough, C-H-U-C-K, there we go. And then you can do it by the ID number of the person. Um, and when you tab again, you're back to alphabetical search.